Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to install WordPress 2.8.3 and Exempt for Linux 1.7.1. To begin with, you need to have already downloaded this uh, tar.gz file. If you haven't, you can go to wordpress.org and find it there. First, we want to start off with launching a terminal window. And we're going to log in as super admin using the command sudo s s okay normally it'll ask you for your password but I've already done this so alright the next thing we need to do is begin by extracting that file and we do that using the command par xd zf and then we're going to type the file oh hold on to cd desktop alright now we can do it par XBZF and then Word and I'm going to hit tab to finish typing all that out. Now I'm going to add C and then opt and HT docs. And this is going to automatically put it in a subdirectory in our HT docs folder. So next, what we're going to do is go ahead and start XAMP by doing opt lamp lamp. And then start. All right, so now we're going to open the web browser and we need to create a MySQL database for it. So we're going to go to localhost forward slash php my admin all right and then the root user you type in whatever your root user password is and now we're going to go ahead and create a new database you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to call it WordPress and then create all right and I'm going to click the little house thing and I'm going to go to privileges and add new user and then I'm going to just say WP user and then under uh, hosts I'm going to select local and for the password I'm going to just generate one and I'm going to control C to copy and I'll go ahead and click that copy which will put it in those two fields for me and I'm going to just go down and not worry about checking anything yet and I'm going to click go alright after we've done that we go right here and select the WordPress database whatever you toggled it and then you'll see this we'll click check all and then click go alright so now we're ready to set up WordPress so we'll click uh, new tab and then we're going to go to localhost and then WordPress. Enter. Alright, and we'll create a configuration file. Uh oh. Alright, so we need to change the mode for this. So there's what we'll do. We'll do seven to uh access op lamp dots press enter alright I will minimize that and we'll try this again click back and then alright there we go that was simple fix now I'll click let's go uh, the database name is wordpress so we can leave that the username was WP user and then the password was that big old long password and that's where we go ahead and paste it right there and the database host everything else is fine so we can click submit and now we're going to run this install and the title we're going to do is uh, just make up the blog title Someone at somewhere.com 
Uh, you can click that if you want it to show up in Google and whatever that other one is. Click install WordPress. All right, now it's very important that we do not lose this password. So we're going to click copy. No, we're going to click admin. Paste that password. All right, so now they make it uh, easier now to, to go ahead and change that password. So you click yes. Oh, hey, it takes you right down to the password thing. So now you set your new password. I know my password is weak. You need to, I wouldn't recommend a weak one, but go ahead and click update profile. And now your new password should be good to go. Click on this, and there's your new WordPress blog. And that is how you install it and exempt for Linux.